All right, I'm going to show you how to create functions. First of all, main is a function. You can see the return value is an integer, and its name is main. You pass in no aria, no values right here. You could. And then the return value is set right here, return zero. If I want to create a new function, I can. So up above it, I'm going to create one to calculate out the area of a circle. So I do a double. And this be circle area. And I want to pass in the radius as a double. Radius. Okay. Now, the way you calculate out the area of a circle is pi times r squared, or radius squared. So I'm going to go ahead and create a, well, const double pi equal to 3.14. I could be more if I wanted, but I'm just going to stick with that. Now, for my return value, I need to return a double. So I can create one right here or just type a return and return it. But I'm going to go ahead and create one. So I'm going to call it my return or our value. And it's going to be equal to the radius times the radius times pi. So, well, pi times radius times radius. And then I just return that return value. So return our value. So this value right here, our value doesn't exist outside of this function. So once this function is gone, it's gone too. So you can't actually use that one in uh, externally. So now I have this program right here. I'm going to prompt the user for some number, and I'm going to calculate out the area of a circle. So I'm going to have a double for R and I'm going to have a double for area. Okay. And then I'm going to prompt them with a C out. Give me the radius of a circle. And then I will go ahead and read that into my R value. So STD CN into R. And then I'm going to pass that into the function and get the value back. So my area is going to be equal to the return value of circle area where I pass in a double r so r gets passed in so this letter r i created right here gets passed created passed in it runs up to circle area circle area calculates out what the area is and returns that to me as the r value which then gets put into my area at which point i can then run another c out statement c out the area of a of that circle is and I can go ahead and display my area and have my and L all right oops there we go so now I go ahead and run this and let's see what happens so I run this and it says, give me the radius of a circle. So I say five. And it says the area of that circle is 78.5. So that's five times five is 25 times 3.14 gives us 78.5. So this is basically how you write a function. It shows you how to do a function. Just remember it has a return value and this return type right here needs to be whatever is returned. And it has a name and you can pass in arguments and it's a comma separated list of arguments.
calculate it internally. All these internal variables are internal only, and they don't exist outside of the function. And then when it returns, it comes back, and there you go.